get there. The General Store on 24 is located on Route 24 in Lewis. All right, 845. It is the Bill and Jessica Show. It's a Tuesday, and we want to welcome live in studio once again, Miss Mary DuPont. Good morning. Welcome back. Good morning. Uh, here we got to make sure you talk right up on the mic there. Okay. Appreciate you checking in. Thank you so much. You were here before. Uh, back again to talk about this big Latino business and community expo coming up this Saturday. Yes. Are you going crazy yet? Uh, absolutely. <laughs> As I said, I've been going crazy for weeks now. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I, look. Well, you want it to be perfect. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You want it yeah. to all come together. We talked about how, you know. It takes a lot of hard work. A lot of work going into putting on an event. Yes. So. There's so many little details. And if you just forget one of them, you know, you're you're in trouble. Yeah. So. So uh, how many businesses you said? We have 102 businesses wow. registered. And uh, they're still coming in. Of course, last minute is when you get the mad rush mm -hmm. and uh you know we're allowing businesses to continue to register until tomorrow okay that is the cutoff but we're doing a business directory that's going to be handed out at the event so uh the cutoff was actually friday for that last friday okay but we're also doing a web-based business directory that will be up and we're going to promote that after the event as well because we're going to have all the businesses with their information and what they do and you know anything people want they'll be able to go up on our website and it'll be there nice nice again uh for people who don't know it's the uh, latino business and community expo it's going down this saturday and this is the first annual this is the first okay and yes. you hope you're hoping to continue well, yes, I'm sure we'll survive. I have a year to recover. <laughs> <laughs> you look, day one after it's over, so it's, it's Saturday, so I guess Monday morning, first business day back, you got to plan for next year. That's, that's how it works. <laughs> well, that's what you tell yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, again, uh, two to six, K Penlopen High School in Lewis. For people who don't know too much about everything that's going to be going on on Saturday, uh, give us a rundown. Tell us about it. Okay. Well, we're we're going to have the businesses exhibiting, um, and we have all kinds of businesses. We have a lot of contractors. I will say anyone who's thinking about a spring project or that uh, honey-do list, mm -hmm. right. uh, this is the place to show up, especially you men who uh, don't want to be the honey that has to do it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, and so we have a lot of uh, expertise in the room. Um, if you want to build an addition, new ba new bathroom, kitchen, uh, a garden, uh, any landscaping, any ki any kind of. Uh Uh, catering, uh, we have custom tailoring, so we just have a very, very broad array. We have some uh, IT businesses with really amazing expertise. So whatever it is that you're in the market for, pretty much, whether you're a business yourself or uh, anybody in the public, yeah. um, I just think it's, you know, as um, a gringo myself or a gringa, um, I always thought, you know, I see a lot of businesses around, but I never really knew much about the community. So um, with La Plaza, I got involved in working with the Latino businesses, and it's been so interesting and impressive, um, the quality and the quantity. Mm -hmm. So many people have businesses, and they are perfectionists. You know, they really take pride. Everything has to be presented and done um, with care Top and with notch. quality. Top notch. So I think, you know, Americans are missing out on this. And um, well, right hopefully here, not on Saturday. Not on Saturday. So this is a chance to meet people um, and also to enjoy the culture because in addition to the businesses, we're going to have uh, great food that's going to be prepared on site. Yeah, I was going to ask you, what kind of food we have? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we'll have a if variety. If you say tacos, I'm there. Yes, well, right. we, uh, we are bringing in Primo Taqueria. Hey, I like it. They are well-known in the Latino community, and um, they are really fantastic, great food. And they, they are a big business. They're very popular. You go to any event, 
and they're there. They have the, the trucks, but they also have a restaurant mm -hmm. um, in Salisbury. And they're looking to open a second location in Georgetown. Nice. So we've been working with them to, you know, to make that happen. Mm -hmm. And um, we also have Maudie's uh, Hispanic Cuisine. Yes. And so we have two different, you know, really well-known, popular uh, Latino restaurants. One is Guatemalan. One is uh Mexican, mm -hmm. and we'll have some great food prepared on site, so be fresh and delicious. We also have live Ecuadorian pan flute uh, music, and um, uh, Carlos Erazo. I don't know if anyone's ever heard of him. I had never heard of him until I actually saw the band perform. Right. And now I am a follower. Okay. I nice. nice. As a matter of fact, I have a CD. I play it at home. I just love this music. It's like very, uh, very, very cool sound. Very good. Very good. So, uh, again, all that is going down this weekend, Saturday, the first annual Latino Business Community Expo, 2 to 6, Cape Henlopen High School in Lewis. Uh, no charge to attend? Right. We have a lot of sponsors. So, in addition to the businesses, we're going to have a whole partner section. So we got, uh, we engaged um, local community to come and, you know, partner with us on this and to support it. And we have had a fantastic response. So we, have got, we got all the local chambers. Um, we have the adult ed uh, uh, programs at the different high schools. Um, we have a lot of local businesses. Um, we have a long list of sponsors. If you go to our website, it's too long for me to rattle off, but I'll just tell you that the community has been phenomenal. They've been really supportive. Our lead sponsors are um, m and Bank, right. um, Maxima, The Voice Radio. The Voice Radio Network, yes, Yay. live and local. Yes, Yay. we are. Proud to be sponsored and proud to be, uh, you know, involved with you guys. Yeah, and the Arsh Cannon Fund. Um, which is a big partner and USDA Rural Development. So uh, that, again, we are a nonprofit organization. So a lot of the sponsors are actually funders of La Plaza Delaware. And um, we have the Freeman Foundation and the Greater Lewis Foundation. So, um, you know, as I said, we have received great partnership on this so it's not just us doing this alone we've been working with so many different organizations to promote awareness and to support the event so that enables us to be able to make this free right to mm -hmm. the community to everyone attending and um for the businesses as well so we're you know underwriting you know their participation so that this is sort of like um their quinceanera yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. they're coming out yep. And, you know, uh, because there's never been um, an expo or a real, you know, formal business event featuring Latino businesses before. Well, hey, look, mm -hmm. it's got to be a first for everything. It's the first annual Latino Business and Community Expo again Saturday, 2 to 6, Cape Inlopen High School in Lewis. And you said there's still time to get in. If you're a Latino-owned business or you want to be a part of this, you want to be a sponsor, etc. cetera, um, again, how can people do that? Um, well, they can contact us. Uh, let me see. We have a – We have a. well, they can – Email uh, us at info at La Plaza Delaware, all spelled out, L-A-P-L-A-Z-A, -A Delaware, we know how to spell that, dot O-R-G. Right. And uh, the phone number, if they want to call and, you know, uh, get to us right away, it's 302-727-2841. Very good. And, of course, uh, LaPazaDelaware.org, the website. Uh, Mary, anything else you want to add before we wrap up? Again, it's happening this Saturday. This Saturday. So it's from 2 to 6, so we thought it's like a great way to spend mm -hmm. a Saturday afternoon. You know, um, hoping the weather will be nice, but so far, weather bug is like saying it's going to be a little cloudy, maybe a little rainy. So this is the way to spend the day. Yeah. In a beautiful site, a beautiful uh, setting. Cape and Lopen High School is class act. Absolutely. Gorgeous facility. 
uh, high ceilings, lots of windows, lots of light, domes, it's beautiful. And we're going to have all these businesses, food, music, and also we have a lot of speakers that are coming from Washington, D.C., from the state. We have our congresswoman. So we have businesses who, you know, really, you know, big time Latino businesses and developers are going to be there. So it's a place to meet and greet and um, enjoy the day. Um, even if you're not in the market for anything, just come have a new experience, um, you know, for the afternoon. Yeah, no, and, and learn about culture, learn about, you know, um, a ton of different things. You know, the the incredible food, I'm telling you. Take it from me. The restaurants that you named, amazing. yes. Yes. <laughs> and, so. and uh, you know, it. the fact is that these are our neighbors. Yeah, no, so absolutely. So it's neighbors supporting neighbors, and, you know, that's what I love about Delaware. The first annual Latino Business Community Expo this Saturday, 2 to 6, Cape Head Lopen High School in Lewis. Uh, Mary DuPont, thank you so much thank for all you, you so do, much. and thank you thank so much you. for coming in. We appreciate it. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. It's 8.56. It's the Bill and Jessica Show. Time for a quick replay.